Because if she was singled out, then I'm quite sure it's being singled. Other kids are being singled out too. That's in her same situation. Last night, we first told you about a 15-year-old Garner Magnet High School student suspended for possession because she smelled like drugs. Yeah, school officials said they could smell marijuana on her fingers. However, they didn't find any drugs on her. CBS North Carolina's A.J. Janival has been on this story from the start and continues to investigate how this could happen. A.J.? Sean, Sharon, since this story aired, many of you have shared it online and commented asking how a smell could be enough to determine possession of drugs. Wake County, every single school resource officer is a member of the Wake County Sheriff's Department, and school officials rely on their expertise in the field. School officials tell me even though there was no specific policy on determining possession of drugs based on scent, they do allow school resource officers the ability to use their best judgment in these situations. To be a resource officer in any part of North Carolina, you have to be a member of a law enforcement agency. According to the North Carolina Justice Academy website, 400 hours of training are required to be a school resource officer, or for short, SRO. Within those 400 hours, more than 70 hours are focused on ethics and training specifically to be an SRO. According to Jaquela Johnson's official notice of student suspension from Wake County Schools, the entire incident began when an SRO smelled marijuana from the hall. The officer then followed that smell to Johnson's classroom. That's when she was singled out. However, not everyone agrees with the SRO system. Lori Brown, professor and coordinator of the criminology program at Meredith College, tells me police in the schools is over enforcement. It's an unnecessary use of officers, and it really does pull more and more kids into the system. That's what 911 is for. If you have a problem and you need an officer, you hit the button for 911, and they'll be there in a few minutes. You don't need one in school. And I spoke with sheriff's officials today. They told me they will have more information on SOR training, or rather SRO training, Monday. Sean